guys, Kelly here. Um, I thought I would do a, a very quick video on uh, crate training, um, purely because I know a lot of you, especially with young puppies, are, uh, are worried or can't seem to get your puppy used to the crate. And it could be that they've just um, associated it with uh, being left alone um, and not enjoying the space um, and this can happen really early on especially when you bring your puppy home and you use it initially so I cannot stress enough how awesome a crate is uh, it is uh, not a cage <laughs> it is a den for your puppy so what we need to do is change their focus from this is a bloody awful thing and I don't want to be in it to this is awesome and I love it um, and if you have a beagle puppy that is particularly negative towards it, um, it's going to take a, a week or so to sort of get them around to using it. So what to do? First of all, okay, you pop a crate where you want the crate to be. Now I would suggest that it be somewhere where um, if you need to use it in the evening, the dog is with you. So for instance, in our house, we have two crates in our living room um, so that if we ever have to crate any of our boarders or our dogs, they can settle down for the evening but still be around us. Um, you are going to make it a wonderful, lovely place. Uh, make, uh, the crate doesn't need to be huge. It just needs to be enough space for your dog to be able to stand up and turn around. And actually the smaller the space, the more they're going to like it and the less likely they are going to pee and poop in it. Um, now I cover all my crates to create that den-like quality, except obviously for the door. And for now, I would just take the door off. Um, most of them you can take them off so just take it off and put it somewhere because you want the crate just to be there so that the dog can go in and investigate puppy dog whatever it is go in and investigate um, uh, and also sort of like think oh wow what what is this and you want to um, periodically just put some treats in there you know some really lovely awesome treats and even hide them you know hide them um, in the bed um, and then um, make it uh, sometimes make it even a game oh has 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 um, is there treats in your crate should we have a look you know make it really exciting and, and enjoyable and then all um, your meals. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever meals you're doing. Oh, hello, Bubba. <laughs> this is Ralphie. Um, and put uh, all their meals in there as well. So they have to eat all their food in there. And during the day, um, pop a Kong in there with some awesome food. Um, and just let them just go in and investigate it. And literally just do this for probably about a week. Um, and then encourage them, like put something in there that uh, maybe if you've already got a dog bed, like with a blanket, put the blanket in there, something that smells of you, anything just to make it wonderful, but just don't ever shut the door. Not yet, not yet, because this is where some people make the mistake. Oh, my puppy's gone in there, fallen asleep. Oh, let's put the door back on, shut the door. No, 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 leave the door off. Um, you're gonna do it in stages. So after about a week, and hopefully your puppy is starting to go in there a bit more, um, really sees it as a positive thing, pop the gate, on. just don't shut it just leave it just leave it there um, and then when they um, they do fall asleep if they do fall asleep in there just shut it don't lock it just shut it so that when they wake up they can just pop you know pour the door and it'll open for them um, and then the next stage is uh, and this is why it can take a little while especially if you have a puppy that doesn't really like the crate at the moment uh, the next stage is to shut the door um, but be in the house when you do this um, and potter around uh, do what you need to do. Again, every time I put um, any of my dogs in crates, um, they always, always get a treat of some kind, whether it's a handful of kibble, um, some dog treats, biscuits, a, a Kong, anything. So every time they go in the crate, they get something really, really yummy to eat, to the point where I can say, crate time to Daisy, and she gets in before I even put the crates, uh, the treats in there. Um, and then uh, you're gonna shut the door and uh, they're probably gonna cry but um, it's not you know it's not killing them so uh, potter around uh, leave them in there for five minutes maybe or even less if you want to but the key here is that you cannot go to the tray the crate until they're quiet hello stuff um, they're quiet and they're not scratching or trying to get out and then before you open the door I always ask my dogs to sit and to wait and then when I open the, the door if they try to rush forward I shut the door and I do that and oh Daisy that's enough darling Daisy, Daisy we, she's because they're in her bed right Daisy that's enough um, and then you um, just keep shutting the door until they stay in that sitting position 
and then you use whatever command you want to let them come out. And the reason why I do that is so that they learn that calm um, behavior um, gets them out of the crate. Um, so give that a go, see how it goes. It's uh, every beagle is, is an individual. Some people put the crate back with a bed in it and and do the <laughs> it's not, you can't see her she's trying to pour at me and and they uh, after a couple of days they love it and they're asleep in it and you know others it takes them two three four weeks to get used to the crate so the thing is don't push them um but just make them associate the crate as a good thing um okay so now i'm going to take um some doggies home oh here they all are oh look there she is there's ruby <coughs> oh that is bailey he's got <coughs> very very loud bark wail howl whatever you want to call it and um i'll see you later